All right, you little fifth graders, this is our second lesson with the informational essay. If you remember, you had to list three ways people have used microbes to benefit themselves and the environment. And we've got to write an informational essay on that topic. You have a copy of the topic and the passages, the two passages, in Google Classroom if you need to go back and look at that. And if you haven't done this yet, you need to pause the video and on a sheet of paper, from the passages, list three ways people have used microbes to benefit themselves and the environment. So pause the video and do that if you haven't done it already. For those of you that have, from the passage, microbes, there are three things listed. Bacteria help break down food. Bacteria help to make food. Bacteria is used to make medicine. Now, bacteria and microbes are the same thing. Now, from the other passage, microbes, nature's waste cleanup system, it only talks about one way. Microbes break down waste. So, you have four total ways in both the passages put together. Now you only have to pick three. So you should have those. Now if you have something else, you can't use it because you have to go by what the passages say. You can't use anything else. So these are the four ways and you only got to come up with three. So these are the three that I picked that I'm going to write my essay on. List three ways people have used microbes to benefit themselves in the environment. Number one, bacteria break down food. Number two, bacteria is used to make food. Number three, bacteria is used to make medicine. So those are the three that I'm going to use. Today, get out a clean sheet of paper, and we are going to write our introduction paragraph. And remember, this is going to be an essay. It is going to be five beautiful paragraphs. And this is just paragraph one, the introduction paragraph, which we have done before. You're going to have a topic sentence, a main detail one, a main detail two, and a main detail three sentences. And you'll have a conclusion or a closing sentence, which will just restate the topic sentence in another way. If you're wondering what your main detail 1, 2, and 3 are going to be, you already wrote them down. This will be main detail 1, main detail 2, and main detail 3. So let me show you my paragraph. You are not allowed to copy any of my ideas. If you do, of course I'm going to make you redo it and give you a zero if you don't. So it's okay to have some of my same uh, details, but don't word your sentences just like mine. I'm going to know if you did, and then I'm going to make you do it all over. So here's my topic sentence. Some people think that microbes are only bad for humans, but that is not true. Notice that is a compound sentence. Here is my main detail one sentence. Microbes break down food in the human body. Main detail two sentence. They are also used to make all kinds of food. Main detail three sentence. They are also used to make medicine. And then my closing sentence, which is a pretty long sentence. When it comes to microbes, people should do their research before they run their mouths because microbes do a lot of good. And there you have it. It's simple introduction paragraph. Now it is your turn to write yours. Remember, you have your three main details on this paper I gave you in the last writing class. You have them right here. Okay? And once again, here is our outline for all five sentences. And once again, here is an example of how to do an introduction 
paragraph if you want to pause the video and read that one more time. But don't copy my sentences. Now it is your turn to get to work. So get to work.